Sarah, hey! I just got this goat for my brother. Let me just say congrats. I'm over the moon for you. You have no idea how happy I am for you too. Oh, thank you, Nate. That's very kind of you. I can't believe it. My big bro finally popped the question to you. It's been a long time coming. You guys have been dating for so long. You said yes, right? You didn't turn him down, did you? Yes, I did. I said yes, of course. We were on a romantic date the other day, and he got down on one knee and proposed to me. It was such a surprise. I tried to get him to spill the beans, but he was too shy to tell me. He wouldn't give me any details. So how did he do it? How did he look when he was proposing? Did he slip the ring on your finger? Was it a perfect fit? Did it sparkle in the light? The whole thing was so magical that I couldn't help but cry. Tears of joy, of course. I've never felt this happy in my life. He looked so nervous and adorable when he was proposing. He put the ring on my finger and it fit perfectly. It was the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. Oh, wow. That's wonderful to hear. I guess he did better than I expected. He must have put a lot of thought into it. He's usually not very good at these things. I'll probably be coming over soon to formally announce the engagement to your family. I can't wait to see you then and share the good news with everyone. Absolutely. I can't wait to see you too. I'm so thrilled about this. You marrying my brother means you're going to be my sister-in-law. That's so awesome. Yes, that's right. We're going to be family. I still can't believe it. You're so amazing, Sarah. So beautiful and kind. You're everything I could ever wish for in a sister-in-law. How should I cope? I'm so ecstatic. You're being too generous. I'm pretty ordinary in every way. There's nothing special about me. What are you saying? Your parents own one of the biggest companies in this country. You're not only wealthy, you're also generous and compassionate. You're always helping out people in need and donating to charities. You're incredible and flawless. You have no flaws at all. That's very sweet of you, but I'm far from flawless. In fact, my father is the incredible one, not me. He's the one who built the company from scratch and made it successful. He's the one who taught me everything I know about business and philanthropy. Oh, come on. You don't have to be so humble. You're amazing in your own right. But are you sure you're okay with my brother, though? He's such a regular guy. Average looks, a typical education, a normal job. He's not on your level at all. He doesn't have anything to offer you. You're not going to change your mind and call it off at the last minute, are you? I would never do that. Actually, sometimes I wonder if he deserves better than me. People call me naive and gullible all the time. So I'm the complete opposite of Timothy. He's so sensible and reliable. He always knows what to do and how to handle any situation. No, it's fine. A little naivety is forgivable when you come from money. You must have been pampered like a princess ever since you were born, right? You must have had everything you ever wanted and more. Well, actually... I wish I could live like a princess, without a worry in the world. Seriously, Sarah, I totally look up to you. You're living the dream. You have it all. Wait, didn't Timothy tell you? No. What do you mean? Tell me what? It's about my family background. I thought he might have told you, but it seems like you don't know anything about it yet. Are you sure he didn't mention anything? What is it about, exactly? This is news to me. Is there something wrong? The truth is, I wasn't pampered like a princess since I was born. I'm actually adopted. I'm not their biological daughter. What? I grew up in foster care and my parents adopted me from there. I don't know anything about my biological parents, really. They left me as soon as I was born. So I'm not blood related to my current family at all. I don't share their genes or their name. Wait. If there's anyone who's a real princess in the family, that would be my little sister. My parents took me in because they were struggling to conceive at the time. But then a miracle happened and my baby sister was born. You can imagine how ecstatic everyone was about that. She's their pride and joy. No way! So you're like a foster kid? You're not really their daughter? If you want to know more details, I can tell everyone the next time I come over. I don't mind talking about it. It's not like it's a secret or anything. Uh, Timothy knows about this, right? What did he say? How did he react? He was a bit taken aback at first, but he didn't really make a big deal out of it. He mostly just asked me about what foster care was like. <laughs> he was just curious about my life before I met him. Uh, okay, well, I need to go talk to him about this. Sorry, gotta go for now. Bye!
Timothy, Nade suddenly texted me earlier. When she found out that I was adopted, I found Nade to be depressed and not excited anymore. Have you talked with your sister? Yeah, I explained the whole thing to everyone as well. I told them everything about you and your family situation. Is everything okay? I can feel Nade's lack of agency. She sounded like she was in a hurry to hang up. So about that, the response hasn't been good. They're really against it. They're totally opposed to our marriage. What? Everyone was really happy to hear that you accepted my proposal. They congratulated me and said how lucky I was. But soon as they found out that you're adopted, they suddenly changed their attitude. They became cold and distant. Oh no. It's hard for me to say this, but they basically told me straight up to call off the engagement. Marriage is a big commitment, you know. They told me I shouldn't marry someone whose family background is suspicious. They said it would cause problems for me and them in the future. Oh, I was really hoping this wouldn't happen. I'm so sorry. I didn't think they'd be so against it like this. Their reaction was a big surprise to me too. I thought they'd be more understanding and supportive. Well, I was keeping this possibility in my mind, so it's fine. I don't expect them to accept me immediately. Even if it takes time, let's try our best to convince them, okay? As long as I'm with you, I won't be discouraged. Yeah, so sorry about this. I was thinking of just, well, I'm thinking of breaking off the engagement like my parents told me. Huh? You're kidding, right? I really didn't think they'd be so against it. When I saw how concerned they were, it just kind of lost all motivation to go through with it. Marriage isn't something you should commit to against the better advice of your family, right? They know what's best for me, right? Are you really certain about this? Breaking off the engagement means we'll have to break up. Is that okay? Even though you gave me the most beautiful engagement ring, the one that made me cry tears of joy? So yeah, I'd like that back. Seriously? You want the ring back? That ring was stupidly expensive. It really didn't suit someone like you. So I need it back. Just give it back to me, okay? Don't make this harder than it has to be. Timothy, what's gotten into you all of a sudden? You're acting like a completely different person. Oh, actually, I have another favor to ask you. Can I have your blessing to marry your sister? Excuse me? My sister? Why? What are you talking about? So I've given some thought about what I should do. Even though my family is against the marriage, I still have some feelings for you. So I came up with a great idea. All I need to do is marry your sister instead and everything will work out. Wait, what? I'm not understanding anything right now. What are you saying all of a sudden? Trust me, this is going to work out perfectly. I can't be your husband, but we can still be family this way. If I marry your sister, we can all live in the same house. Just the three of us. It will be no different from if we were married. Wow, please tell me this is some kind of tasteless joke. You're not serious, are you? My parents are against me marrying you because, you know, you hear bad things about kids who've been in foster care. But if it's your sister, my family won't have any problems. She's their real kid, so she's perfect. She has their blood and their name. This is kind of a lot to unpack. Timothy, you're... Are you saying you have no reservations about this? The whole idea of marrying my little sister and all? Yeah, I'm totally okay with it. I've always found her pretty cute anyways. If I'm being honest, I've been keeping an eye on her for quite a while. <laughs> you... what? You've been checking out my sister? Behind my back? I can't believe what I'm reading. You're willing to marry my sister just to please your family? What about our love and our relationship? I thought you loved me for who I am, not for my family background or my sister. I do love you, but this marriage is more than just love. It's about family and making sure everyone is happy. I know it's sudden, but I think it's the best solution. My family will be happy, and we can still be together in a way. So please, Sarah. This is the only way for me to continue being with you. Give it some thought and let me know your answer. I'm sure you'll agree with me that this is the best solution for everyone. Hey, listen up. My family had an urgent and important family meeting last night. After considering everything carefully, we came to the conclusion that we decided not to allow you to marry my brother and cancel the engagement immediately. So please break up with him right now. You should take the initiative to end the story yourself because it will probably help you feel less grief in the long run. But anyways, 
Timothy will also be contacting you soon to discuss this decision further. Thanks for your time, and have a good day despite this unfortunate news. Huh? Don't huh me. You're an unwanted and adopted child. You don't have any real family. How dare you try to marry my brother when you're just some nobody from God knows where. Wait a minute. Is that really you, Nate? You've never spoken to me like this before. Of course it's me. And I'm telling you the truth as harsh as it may sound. I mean, you were so friendly to me before. It's like I'm talking to someone else entirely. Don't you get it? I was only being nice to you before because you came from a rich family who had a lot of money and influence. But then it turns out you're just adopted and not related to them by blood. Give me all my time and effort back that I spent on you. I wasted so much energy just pretending to be nice to you when I didn't really like you. So it was all a lie from the beginning? What? Do you have a problem with that? You were only being nice to me because of my family. You didn't care about me at all as a person. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I mean and what I'm saying. Isn't that obvious by now? There's no other reason why I should be nice to you or anyone else. I can't believe this. Look, if my brother married you, he'd have had a chance at inheriting your family's business one day and becoming rich and successful himself. And as his sister, I would have been living it up in luxury and enjoying the high life. Too bad you turned out to be a total fake and a fraud. You're just some charity case without any real pedigree or any value or worth. Imagine what would have happened if you kept on hiding this from us and we never found out the truth. We'd have been tricked into taking a useless lowlife into our family and ruining our reputation and happiness. I can't believe this is how you really felt this whole time behind your fake smile and kindness. Really? I regret the fact that I ever tried being nice to you or your family. I'm never letting my brother marry someone like you who doesn't deserve him or us. You got that clearly? I got it. Thank you so much. Huh? Why are you thanking me? Do you understand English well enough? Or like, are you naive to the point of being a total ditzy idiot who doesn't know anything about the real world? Thanks for the concern, but I'd like to think I'm not nearly as idiotic as you all who judge people by their appearance and status rather than their character and personality. Excuse me? Again, thank you. Thank you for calling off the engagement for me and freeing me from this toxic relationship and family. I think I've really dodged a bullet and escaped a disaster. Wait just a second! What are you talking about? We're the ones who dodged the bullet here and avoided a calamity. We almost let some urchin into the family and tarnished our name and honor. Well, let's just call this an amicable end to the engagement and leave it at that without any further drama or conflict. Thank you for being kind to me up until now even if it was only a facade. Goodbye now, and good riddance. Hey, are you there? Answer me! What in the world do you think you're doing? What's this about? We just got a call from your dad a few minutes ago. Timothy tried explaining on the phone why he broke off the engagement with you, but then he went completely pale as if he saw a ghost. He couldn't even finish his sentence before your dad started screaming at him. Is that so? There was so much yelling on the other end that we could hear it straight through the phone, loud and clear. And then Timothy just started bawling out of nowhere like a baby. Don't you think it's kind of unfair to drag your parents into this mess? I can't believe you. How low can you get to do something like this? All because you got offended over getting rejected by him? What did you even tell your dad to make him so angry? He sounded so furious that I could feel his rage. He literally made a grown man cry his eyes out. Wait. You must be misunderstanding. I didn't drag my parents into the engagement situation. They're not involved in that matter. Are you trying to play innocent? He called us just now. What part of that is not involved? I bet you went crying to your daddy and blew the whole story out of proportion to get his sympathy. I would never do that. I can understand why people would care about someone's upbringing. That's not an issue. My parents think the same way I do. In fact, they told me I should be glad I didn't end up marrying someone with such a narrow-minded view of the world. They encouraged me that I should be proud of who I am and where I came from and find someone who loves me for me and not for my money or status. Then why would your dad even call us? He was just absolutely furious. That's not normal. That's because your brother said something he shouldn't have. My father never raises his voice unless it's something really egregious. Because that's something Timothy said? Yeah. Do you know what he told me? 
He said he wanted to marry my little sister because she's my parents' actual daughter, and also how he kept an eye on her for a while. What's wrong with that? That sounds like a great idea. Timothy really thought it through. Nate, do you know how old my sister is? No. Why would I? She's only a few years younger than you, right? We're actually more than 10 years apart. My sister is only 16. What? To be exact, she just turned 16 this month. Now imagine a 30-something-year-old guy saying he's been keeping an eye on her for a while. That's absolutely disgusting, no matter how you frame it. That's not love, that's lust. Oh, well, I'm sure he didn't mean it like that. Even worse, when I told my sister about the engagement being called off, she opened up to me about something. She told me that Timothy had been creeping on her before. Seriously? She said he mistook her room for mine and kept coming into her room. He did it so often that my sister was getting scared of what he'd do, but she couldn't confide about it to anyone because he was technically my boyfriend. She said he would touch her and kiss her and whisper things to her that made her feel uncomfortable and violated. He told her to keep it a secret and not to tell anyone, especially me or my parents. He would threaten her and blackmail her if she ever tried to resist or expose him. Um, surely that has to be some kind of misunderstanding? He wouldn't. He'd never. He can't have been creeping on a 16-year-old girl, right? My parents aren't going to let this slide as a simple misunderstanding. That's probably why they decided to call. You can imagine how angry they are right now. But... They said they'd take the matter to the proper authorities. Maybe that's what they told Timothy. I'm sure that'd be enough to make him go completely pale. They said they'd report him to the police and press charges against him for sexual assault and child abuse. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by proper authorities? You're not going to call the police, are you? Well then, why don't you have a nice family meeting amongst yourselves to discuss how to move forward? Sarah, I apologize. It's all just a misunderstanding. I had no idea it was your sister's room. Stop pretending. Did you stumble into the wrong place more than 10 times? Our house is not that big. I don't understand how you get lost that frequently. But I always got out of the room instantly. And I never did anything odd. So please, please just inform your dad that I'm innocent of everything. Oh, you're innocent of everything? What about the images of my sister you saved on your phone? Pictures? I have no idea what you're talking about. You even went to the trouble of creating a special folder just for her pictures. You're telling me this is still a misunderstanding? That you haven't done anything wrong? Do you think anyone is going to believe you? What are they talking about? I've never done anything like that. My father just got a call from your parents just now. Why? They have no reason to talk to him. They're going to confiscate your phone and delete all those photos you took. And they'll make sure you'll never get near my sister ever again. That's what they promised us. They really don't want the authorities involved. What? You're really the worst. I had no idea you were this kind of person. How? But how? How did they know? When did they see? Learning about the existence of those photos only made my father angrier, though. It's all the more reason to make sure you're locked up behind bars. My father went ahead and contacted his lawyer. Those stupid... I can't believe they... Why did they have to go and do something like that? Please don't get angry at your parents. They were only trying to protect you, I'm sure. Yeah, and they gave up information that makes me look even worse. I'm sure they didn't intend it that way. Just like how you didn't intend to take creepy pictures of my sister. So why don't you forgive them? Please, Sarah, come on. There has to be a way to settle this more peacefully. I really didn't mean anything by what I did. I swear. My sister is my family, even though we're not related by blood. And as her older sister, I'll never absolve anyone who hurts her. Hi. What's going on, Sarah? So, I was curious. How would you feel about reconciling with my brother? Hold on a second. Where is this idea coming from all of a sudden? You know, we had a family meeting. We all discussed together about the current situation and... And now you want me to reunite with him? Well, you know, if we're all family, there's no need to go to such extremes, right? I'm not following your line of reasoning. I mean, if you and Timothy get married, your parents will give up on the getting the feds involved, right? So I was wondering, if you're willing, maybe you could reconcile with him. 
Do you really think I'll agree to that after everything that happened? Do you think I'm a dog that you loathe, drive away, and beckon back if you like? But he's truly, deeply sorry. And my parents, they said they won't cause any trouble over your upbringing anymore. Of course, I don't mind it either. Is that so? So, you know, could you please think about it? Will you think about marrying my brother? We really don't mind if you grew up in foster care or whatever. Honestly, no matter what kind of bride you are, you're welcome to join our family. You really don't have to force yourselves. What do you mean? There will always be people who are worried about someone's upbringing. That's normal. I don't plan to lecture about it one way or another. You don't have to change your views. No, it's really not a big deal. And to tell you the truth, I don't oppose your views, so you really don't have to be concerned about it. I don't get it. This incident made me understand something. I understood that birth and upbringing are quite significant. I would never think about marrying someone from a family with such a repulsive mindset. Wait a minute! So the engagement is going to be terminated as planned. That's the end of it. Farewell then. Please hold on. Sarah, listen. We really, really don't care. Timothy wants to marry you too. That's what he said. He says you don't even have to give back the engagement ring. Oh, I've already sent the ring back. What? Tell Timothy to check his mail. It should arrive soon. My parents immediately took action and reported the situation to the police. Timothy is now dealing with the consequences of his actions. There are rumors that the police found a collection of inappropriate photos and videos of young girls on his computer. I feel relieved that I didn't end up marrying him and grateful that things ended the way they did. In a way, I have Nade to thank for that. As for her, she seems to be going through a difficult time as well. The whole neighborhood is now aware of Timothy's disturbing behavior and their family has become the subject of local gossip. There are even baseless rumors that Nade was introducing young girls to her brother. It seems like it's only a matter of time before their family decides to move away. In the end, I'm just glad that the truth came out and that justice is being served. It's a difficult situation, but I'm grateful to have my family and friends by my side to support me through it all. And as for Timothy, I hope he gets the help he needs and learns from his mistakes. As for me, I'm ready to move on and start a new chapter in my life.